even post-COVID perhaps, <laughs> um, but they want that, that fluidity of being able to be anywhere and not be tied to Down, anything. Yeah. That does not mean that property purchasing doesn't play a factor in that. Mm. So nothing stops young people from taking up the opportunity to buy properties and use them for investment purposes, right? Exactly. So start the journey now and actually add to your investment portfolio, yeah. um, even though you might not consider staying there permanently. Mm. We always talk about this mm. passive income. Mm. Go mm. travel while your house makes money for you. You know, your 100%. property, your investments make the money for you. 100%. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the trends between, because. Um, I called you a veteran earlier, you know, you've been around, <laughs> you've been in the game and I want to ask you a little bit about the trends. I read an article, it was I think two years ago about how black women are taking over the market, the property market, mm -hmm. young, single black women. Mm -hmm. And um, so let's talk a little bit about the trends, uh, millennials maybe in this day and age and how it was back in the day and if we can touch on both things, renting mm -hmm. and buying. Mm -hmm. Sure, interesting. Yes, and I remember that um, piece of research yeah. that was done where um, women, particularly black women of course, are taking up space in as far as the property purchasing um, arena is concerned. Mm. And I think that's a consequence of a number of things, right? So firstly it's about accessibility. Um, far more they are more women, particularly in South Africa, but across the continent, who have access to opportunities like they never had before, right? The fact that you and I are sitting here having, and having this a conversation, conversation about property tells you a lot. Yeah. Right? So I think accessibility has played a large part in as far as how young women are able to access um, property and buy up property. I think the next trend or opportunity that we should look out for is this whole notion around work from home, mm. right? And what that means to living spaces for a large number of people. So do we still want to be living in one bedroom units? Or do we want a lifestyle that allows us to live in our homes mm. as often and as frequently as we are doing now during lockdowns and during a pandemic, right? So I think the, the narrative around, um, you know, sectional title versus freehold, mm. um, one bedroom versus three bedroom is really going to be an interesting debate that we can take forward. And I think lastly, the third trend that we need to watch out for is rental versus purchasing, yeah. right? And I think that plays into that whole millennial or Gen Z or property owners of the future space, nice. right? So what is it that you want your home to bring? Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Click the like button. Thank you.